Fasting is a physical worship which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes for his bondsmen. And it is a very high merit of excellence as far as worships is concerned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has specified a door by the name of Babu Riyan in Jannah through which only people who used to fast will, allow, will be allowed to enter. Now after the month of Ramadan, how are we going to continue is with these super erogatory fasts. The first being the six days of fasts in the month of Shawwal. Hazrat Abu Ayyub Ansari anhu, reports in Muslim, Abu Daud, Nisai, Trimdi and Ibn Majah that Prophet said that whoever after completing the fast of the month of Ramadan, fast for six days in Shawwal every year. He will be rewarded as if he has been fasting for his entire life. Subhanallah, what immense reward, Samadhar, that a person who has been fasting for his entire life, if I mathematically try to work it out you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that for each virtuous deed uh, the followers of Prophet sallallahu have been promised a minimum of 10 rewards so there you are a person who is fasting for the 30 days of Ramadan will be uh, will be rewarded with 300 with the reward of 300 days and then extra 6 days of Shawwal will make it up to how much 360 which comes up to almost like a year so when a person fasts for the 30 months uh, 30 days of the month of Ramadan and then 6 days of Shawwal he will be rewarded as if he has fasted throughout the year and if the person has a habit of uh, keeping these fasts of shawal in all the years then he will be rewarded as samud dahar that is a person who has been who has been fasting throughout his life now the uh, things which we need to know about it is that we do not have to start these fasts of Shawwal from the first of Shawwal because obviously it is the day of Eid al-Fitr and it is uh, prohibited to fast on the day of Eid. Even You don't even have to start it on the very second or the third day of Shawwal because you know it is, it's all counted in the Eid days and we have the family time and we are all busy with our visitors and guests so we don't have to put ourselves in all the inconvenience and then moreover they can be any six days of shawal and they do not even have to be continuous and consecutive we can break them and we can uh, fast apart days also according to our convenience all what is important is that they have to be six total days any six days of shawal and uh, then there are uh, questions like if we have to keep our fasts of uh, the days we missed and the compensatory fast or the uh, kaza uh, fasts of ramazan for our periods or for any illness or for traveling when the fasts were left and they have been postponed to after ramazan can we uh, can we count them in these six uh, fasts of ramazan Actually, you know what? If you are desirous of this reward, this immense reward, then this immense reward is for what? For a count of 30 plus the count of 6 in Shabbat. So if somebody is keeping these compensatory uh, fasts of Ramadan, then the count will still come out to be 30 and it will not be 35 or 36. So the person will be deprived of this immense reward. So people who are desirous of this immense and huge reward have to do what after completing the 30 fasts of ramadan they have to be extra six we can complete our compensatory fast even after shawal because sometimes it becomes difficult that we keep our kaza fast first and then we do uh, the we fast for the month uh, six fasts of the month of shawal so that way it will be difficult for uh, for those people we can keep the uh, fast of shawal in shawal six uh, days of shawal and we can do our compensatory uh, fast after the month of shawal 
However, if there are girls who are not uh, very much into supererogatory fast, then you can ask them to keep their uh, the fast of their cyclical uh, days in Shawal so that they just get used to fasting in Shawal. And inshallah, inshallah, slowly and steadily, they will also get used to keeping these extra six days also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us, accept all our deeds and all our thas and all our recitation of Quran and all the worships in the month of Ramadan.